Greetings. Welcome to Gratitude. As the philosopher Soren Kierkegaard once said, people understand me so poorly that they don't even understand my complaint about them not understanding me. In the world of religious discourse, misunderstandings often lead to conflicts, debates, and even heresies. And one such misunderstanding is the concept of Mary, the mother of God, within the Protestant faith and its alleged link to the Nestorian heresy. Now it's important to clarify that the term mother of God doesn't imply that Mary, a temporal creature created by God, somehow caused the divinity itself to come into existence. That's a common misconception. This isn't about deities being born out of other deities like in ancient mythologies. What this term refers to is the God-man, Jesus Christ, conceived and born from Mary 2,000 years ago. In this specific context, Mary is indeed the mother of God because she gave birth to Jesus, who was both divine and human. However, the Nestorian heresy, named after Nestorius, challenged this concept. Nestorius suggested that the term mother of God could lead to the misinterpretation that Mary caused the divinity itself to exist, which is, of course, absurd. So, he proposed using the term mother of Christ instead. The church objected to this, arguing that mother of Christ implies that the divinity was separate from the human Jesus, like two halves of an Oreo cookie, which would essentially create two entities, God and man. This goes against the fundamental belief of the Incarnation where divinity and humanity were intrinsically conjoined in Jesus. This belief is crucial because, through our baptism and union with Jesus, we are offered the possibility of divinization or sharing in the divine nature. It's not just about a single individual being empowered, but about God entering into solidarity with the human race as a whole. So in conclusion, the term Mother of God is not about Mary giving birth to the divinity itself, but about her giving birth to Jesus Christ, who is both divine and human. Misunderstanding this concept can lead to confusing and misleading interpretations, like the Nestorian heresy. However, as with any topic, it's essential to approach it with an open mind and a willingness to learn. So delve deeper, question, and explore. Because as Kierkegaard also said, Life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. So let's keep moving forward and seeking understanding. Share your thoughts, engage in conversations, and keep the dialogue alive. After all, every great journey begins with a single step. If you've enjoyed this video, please share, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. For Amazon English reads on the topic, check the description box below or the comment section. Goodbye and God bless.